technology can basically allow us to do anything. Now we have to actually question what it is we're doing. We're not just challenging technology anymore. We have to do something meaningful with it. Essentially, the DART program has funded a co-taught course whereby two professors from different disciplines get together and brainstorm how their different approaches, philosophies, practices uh, overlap and can engage each other. Uh, I come from a uh, background in architecture and design. John is a technology and, and art professor. At the intersection, we've created this course called the Empathetic Space, um, an idea that we can um, produce a space that actually physically and virtually responds to people's behaviors. Well, our original concept, there's a, a lot has been developed since then. It's like essentially trying to find a way to deform surfaces with motors. This would be an image that would be projected onto a surface and then the actual surface could also deform. So right at the moment it's only doing it based on just mouse movement, but that mouse movement could be anything. It could be people walking through the space, it could be people getting closer and farther away, all kinds of stuff. basically tracking blobs, like these little blue dots, uh, squares that are moving across the space. And we'll look for places of crowding where you can see the, the tracker starts to notice. So that would tell us what's actually happening. It has a picture of Italy on it. Yeah, see, that's pretty interesting. Cool. We just need to yeah. make it do it more. We've treated the project and the course like a Lego set, where a Lego set comes with a picture on the front, and let's say it's a fire engine. The idea is that me and John, uh, John and I, sit down and do this. We brainstorm and figure out what components go into the Lego set and what it might look like in the end. So we try to envision the fire engine and how it would actually work and what pieces we need to make the fire engine. The idea is that something completely different happens when we give this kit of parts on day one to the students. Here's this Lego box, let's open it and talk about what an empathetic space is, and hopefully with all of their different skills and backgrounds and, uh, and unique perspectives on these things, that they make a spaceship or something else. Because it should have that same program uploaded to it. This is a project that will be designed and installed in three weeks over Jan term, which is a very intense program. Hopefully what we produce is something that uh, you know is well beyond what one person could do. And we have a group of students that are pretty diverse. Um, some that have only done coding work, some that have done uh, electronics, some that have done machining, some that have built um, design build architecture projects. And so we have a diverse set of skills and really the idea is let's get everybody in the room and make something.